it's gonna work now. You know the rules. Welcome to the Spadian family. I'll give a better uh, welcome in just a minute. Come. Fuck you, Frida. There we go. That's it for now. Until phase three. But, uh, yeah, very sorry about that, guys. I was having a little weird internet situation right there. Things seem to be working good now. Uh, and there's Frida. Why'd I do that? I didn't press that button. Ah, damn it. And I'm out. Get that up there. What you got? I do not understand what's going on. It can't be me. It cannot be me. That's right, I'm out of heels. Okay, he got that one. There we go. Alright, we got it. Good job, sir. Good job, sir. You did good. Of course. But, uh, yes, uh, Taco Tony, welcome to the Spadian family. I'm very, very sorry about that. My, uh, it seems that my internet wanted to be like, oh, you, you want to do this? Nope, not going to do that. But, um, may as well restart my intro. So, hello, internet, and welcome back to Dark Soul Street, Path of Anandi of Kurar, the Ring City Hunter. I'm your fellow neighborhood game machine, Onyx. And we're going to be uh, <laughs> continuing some uh, Dark Souls 3. Um, this is basically a restart of the stream, even though not much happened in the beginning. Um, let's hope there's not any hiccups this time. Because that would be pretty bad. Um, I just, I'm just not sure why there's hiccups going on right now, though. That's really, really awkward. It's very, very awkward. But, uh, but yeah, though, welcome Taco Tony. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
but uh, that's just really weird. It's just really, really weird. I'm gonna put my sign down. I'm not sure why that happened. But then again, I haven't had a situation with my uh, internet for a while. For a while, man. Just for a damn while. I'll be right back. I'm going to uh, turn my fan on. It's getting hot in my room. Okay. Y'all got some knee action there. <laughs> Yeah, it's hot today, so I had to switch to some shorts today. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I uh, went to a cookout today. I posted pictures of it on Twitter. It's really really nice. Uh, I had some burgers and some uh, spare ribs. Got to take some home too. So yeah, really really good actually. Um, and also today I'm still drinking a little bit of my uh, Dr. Pepper Cherry. Um, I need to take me some medication real quick. I'm having a bit of a headache. Um, that's better. But, uh, yeah, my day was pretty good. I was out for most of the day, though. I um, I had a good lunch before the cookout. I went to uh, Chipotle, and uh, that was tasty. That was real, real tasty. Um, I uh, got I actually got steak with my burrito this time. Um, I usually get chicken because chicken's really tasty. Um, I love the way that Chipotle seasons their chicken. Um, but today I decided to get the steak because somebody recommended it to me. And, uh, it was good. I mean, it was a little bit on the chewy side, but, you know, I think next time I may get chicken. Um, but I got the, uh, I got, uh, three scoops of steak because Chipotle don't give you enough meat on your damn burrito, so always ask for extra. Um, I got three scoops of steak. Pintos, um, white rice, uh, sour cream, and extra, uh, and extra cheese. It was actually really, really good. I was eating it with my friend James today because uh, him and his family were having a cookout. And James was like, hey, man, you know, it's been a couple years since you've been to a cookout. You know, I'd love to have, uh, I'd love to have Onyx around. He, he sometimes calls me Onyx, too. Like some, a lot of the times he calls me my real name. But sometimes, just to be a bit spiteful, he'll call me Onyx. And I'll be like, hey, Onyx is only for the internet, man. You know, you can call me by my real name anytime. <laughs> He's like, I know, man. You know, and I um, was talking a lot about different stuff. Um, it, it was fun. It was fun. And uh, we, like I said, we got Chipotle for the um, for the cookout, and uh, he wasn't able to finish all of his burrito, um, but I was able to finish all of mine. So it was pretty good. And then uh, the cookout happened. Um, I was there with James. I helped out a tad bit with uh, the making of the spare ribs. He makes one hell of a rub for the ribs. I'm telling you, man. Um, it was really, really good. I liked it. Um, oh, my Lord. Even without that dang barbecue sauce, that those ribs were freaking on point. Um, we had to go to a few places, though, to, uh, to get the ribs. Um, we had to go to Costco. And, and then we went to Kroger. That went really good. Um... That was mostly my day. It was just doing the cookout. And it was spare ribs. And uh, it was really tasty. I uh, love stuff like that. Yep, you are live, sir. Welcome, Mr. Calix Page. Yeah, I was having some issues with... Um, 
the stream at first. I'm not sure why I was having some uh, internet connectivity uh, bullshit. But uh, welcome to the stream, sir. I do my bow to you, sir. Hopefully you are having a blessed day. You are probably very, very tired. Um, me, I was out in the heat today. Um, had a cookout. It was really, really tasty, man. It was really, really tasty. Um, I had burgers and spare ribs, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're doing well, though, Mr. Calix. Tell me how your day was today, sir. Did you have a good day? But, yeah, after the cookout, I, uh, came home. I slept for most of the day. It didn't tell me you were live. Hey, you're here now, right? Uh, plus, the beginning of the stream was having a hiccup, so I had to restart the stream. But uh, welcome, though. Welcome. By the way, Red Beneath You, I really enjoyed that fan art you did right there, man. I, you know, keep them coming, dude. I like those, man. I like those. Keep them coming. Keep them coming whenever you want. Um, but also, if people want to see some of the food that I ate, you can check out my Twitter. Um, it was all really, really tasty. Um, yeah, go check that shit out. Go check that shit out. I also did a tweet as well before I did my stream uh, tweet that I do before I do a stream. Um, I talked about three things that I'm going to do when I become affiliate after I take a few days off. Um, I'll also go ahead and confirm it here. One, I will, um, it'll either be before I become affiliate or after. It depends on when Twitch wants to give it to me. Um, I'll be doing the final part of, um, Dark Souls Remastered for Onyx Plays. And, um, I'll be fighting the final boss. Um, that's gonna happen soon. Uh, second thing is, uh, now this is most, these next two are most definitely going to happen after the affiliate status is confirmed. I will be introducing a new game to the channel. Um, it's a game that I have been wanting to play for a while, and I have been very, very impatient to play it. I'm not going to reveal it right now. But the third thing I'm going, that I'm announcing, which is going to happen after the affiliate status is confirmed too, I will be doing a blind playthrough of Duke Nukem 3D Episode 5 of the World Tour. I'm going to be doing that. And in case people don't know, I actually platinumed Duke Nukem 3D World Tour for the PlayStation 4. However, I have not done Episode 5. And um, I wanted to save that for a special occasion. Also because... You know, that's one of Mr. Rumble Rose's favorite type of games. He loves Duke Nukem just like I do. And why not have Mr. Rumble Roses tell me where to go in uh, Episode 5? That'll be fun right there. Um, so those three things are confirmed. Uh, they will happen. Um, uh, rather the affiliate should, but um, it's all about when Twitch just wants to go ahead and give it to me because I've been getting my um, more than three viewers per stream. I've been getting that. And I haven't been doing anything wrong. It's all about Twitch. You know, Twitch just needs to give it to me already. And when and when they decide to give it to me, I will, um, I will take a couple days off after that. And uh, I will be celebrating. I might be celebrating with my friend James. Um... My friend James, um, I've known him since middle school. Um, real cool cat. He's a real, real cool cat. Um, I kind of got a sneaking suspicion that he's going to become my first subscriber, but I'm not exactly sure. He's kind of given me that, that body language hint about it. And if that's the case, if that's what he's uh, keeping from me, I will be absolutely excited. You know. And that'll be just the beginning. That'll be just the beginning, folks. That'll be just the beginning. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything going on here. So we're going to go to a couple more locations with Venandi and see if we can help other people. Uh, let's see. 
I say we go. Hmm. Give me a minute. I'm thinking real quick. Uh. Oh well, I also did not notice that I never fought Champion Gundir with this character. Or did I? No, I did. Okay, I did. Okay. We're going to help people out with Champion Gundir. Hey, dude, you know, you don't have to try better in the future. I enjoyed your sketch, man. I I absolutely enjoyed it. I loved it. And plus, you know, one day I may get 7,000 viewers. One day. Even though that'll be a very overwhelming experience. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, we're gonna help people out with Champion Gun Deer. Bastards. Gotta get rid of these fuckers here. Alright. We'll go ahead and put a sign down. I gotta clear the area of our there'll be motherfuckers trying to um cheap shot me while I wait. Oh, large soul of a Zuri corpse. Nice. I'm not sure why you did that, sir. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, you little bastard. Fuck off. Fuck off! No, 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 no. Oh, shit. God damn it. Those sons of bitches. Oh my god. I keep forgetting that this is, a. Uh, New game plus six. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that this is not regular game. This is new game plus six, you dumbass. Jesus Christ. I hate it when I forget stuff like that. Yes, I know my summon sign disappeared. No shit, Sherlock. No fucking shit. I do want those souls just in case. See, I play with so many characters that I for I always completely forget. Oh, will you quit that bullshit? Ha, ah, look at that. Invisible wall, bitch. Fuck you, man. You little fucking hollow. Alright, this time. Let's not be a dumbass. Plus, I haven't used these swords in such a long time. You know, ever since the first stream I did of Vanandi, I'm still trying to remember the swords. Alright, got those back. Hello, Mr. Rumble Roses. Welcome to the stream, sir. How are you doing today? By the way, did you check out the recent tweet that I did, sir? I tagged you in it. That's more like it. Give me that. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh nah, fuck off. I ain't fighting you. Nah, I ain't fighting you. Fuck off with that shit. Yeah, fuck off with that. That's okay. I'll, I'll I'll let you wake up, sir. It's it's not an important tweet or anything, but it's a tweet that might pique your interest a little bit. By the way, I did take pictures of uh, the food that I ate at the cookout. If you want to check that out on Twitter, guys, you can. <coughs> I had burgers and ribs today. It was real, real tasty. Real, real tasty.
and the ribs had like this most perfect rub ever dude it was just so great it was just so freaking great man but yeah how was everybody's day today though how was everybody's day you know did you have a good day you know I'd like to know. I do want to check my messages real quick. Okay. Two. Twelve and a two. One. Nine. Fifty-seven. And eleven poor. Six and two. Five and zero. Thirteen and one. Thirty-two and four. Not bad on those. Not bad. Not too bad, actually. Wait, let me check one more thing. Hold on, feel back. Okay, they're still, um, they're still like that. Okay. Yes, I watched, um, I watched one of your recent Duke Nukem videos today. Um, what was it? Uh, you were at Holly, uh, you were at, uh, Holocaust. Oh, uh, nothing much, Taco Tony. Everybody, I want you to welcome Taco Tony to the Spadian family. You know, treat him with the utmost respect, please, my family members. Help make him feel loved and special and unique within the channel. And in case you want to know more about the Spadian family in the channel, Mr. Taco Tony, um, yeah, that's the one that I watched, Rumble. I, I like that one. Um,. I try to promote positivity on my channel, even if Dark Souls gives rage. I try to promote positivity on the channel because the whole world is filled with negative assholes. And this is a place where you can be yourself. However, at the same time, also understand that there is such thing as giving respect to others that are in the chat as well. So, um, if there's a subject that not many people are too fond of, you know, you can mention it, but not really talk about it that much. You know, I care about the well-being of not just the channel, but the well-being of the people that take time out of their day to come and watch your boy do stupid stuff on Dark Souls. Um, being summoned to another world, yes. I want to fight Grundy. I want to fight Grundy. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yes, everybody, welcome Taco Tony to the family, yes. Help, help him feel welcome. Oh, that little mix. Mix is a sick of He's using a Lorian blade. That's okay, I didn't do much damage. Hello, sir. Why are you dressed up like Grundy as well? He's dressed like, oh, he's having, oh, he's having some lag too, oh. All right, let's do it. Get myself a buff, too. I'm going to need it for what I'm about to do. Give me some of that, Grundy. Come here, Grundy. Hey, Grundy. Hey, Grundy. Grund oh, come on. Really? Grundy. It's Grundy. Come on, Grundy. Oh, he got, he's giving me some lag right now. Come on, Grundy. It's been a while, my friends. It's Grundy. I need to move. I need to move. Come on, Grundy. I keep forgetting I don't have a shield. Mere Grundy. It's Grundy. Oh, that stomp, though. He gave me some of that foot, man. Come on, Grundy. It's Grundy. 
Yeah, there we go. You did great, sir. You did great. Good job, sir. Now I will go back and help others with Almighty Grundy. Almighty Grundy. See, now it's starting to go in my favor. Now it's starting to go in my favor, my dudes. Yeah, my boils. It's going real good now. Let's help out more people with Grundy. Grundy. Well, I don't know. It's like, uh, what, I, I'm not sure why my internet was having issues. It might have been because of some of the lag from people, too. It might not have just been my internet. But, uh... I was at the Ring City um, in the stream that doesn't that wasn't working out, and dude, I kid you not, the lag was so bad it was making me look bad, cause everything was like teleporting to different locations. I just couldn't handle it. It was absolute asinine, dude. But you know, things happen. Things happen, my dudes. Things happen. But I am thinking about introducing a few more... Um, Dark Souls 3 Path of series is on here. Um, one of them I'm thinking about doing for Ira because he has more places unlocked actually than uh, Venandi. Um, and then I'm going to try and level up my Onion Bro on Dark Souls 3 and stuff so I can uh, get him ready for one as well. He's going to have a different type of level cap, though. I'm still debating on what I want it to be. But he's going to be an interesting little onion, bro. But, uh... Yeah. I just got to get... I just got to get his pathways finished. Or it's not really going to matter at all. That was bothering me so bad right now. I don't know what's going on. Might also be the pollen. The pollen today was getting on my nerves. But we'll wait a little more. Um, a little more. See if anybody needs help with Grundy. If not, we will wander to another place and help out more people. Hmm. And I had to at least get a stream in though for you guys. You know, I had I had to do it, not just because of trying. Uh, 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 man, wow. Um, not just because I'm trying to reach for the affiliate status right now, but also because you know I need to. I want to give more back to you guys. Um. But I did want to talk more about my YouTube video because I was getting some, um, well, I had a couple, um, Twitter messages about it because people were confused. Um, like why I'm going to be changing the Onyx the Game Machine gaming, um, series from every month of, of uploads to, um, every once a year. And that's because, um, one, YouTube was being an absolute bitch when it came to the adpocalypse. And, um, and I also do not believe that YouTube is being very fair to its content creators. Um, also at the same time, um, a person that was a, uh, 
a really close friend of mine for many, many years. He helped me edit some of them together. Um, but me and him were no longer friends anymore. So I had to make a decision for my well-being whether I wanted to do more uploads and do less streams or do more streams but do less uploads. And I was really thinking about it. And I was like, okay, I want to do more streaming. Because that way I can give more back to the people directly, you know, versus trying to rely on YouTube to share around my bolt, uh, my, uh, my hard work. Because it's not really the views on the video that counts. It's, it's What matters to me is that people would find it and watch it. But I, I kid you not, there was one video that I had on the YouTube channel and uh, it took me about a month straight to get the editing right for it and I kid you not when it debuted it had no views for like that whole month and uh, it wasn't until I shared it with a friend of mine that he was like oh yeah I didn't even get the notification so that goes to show that even when you click that little bell right beside subscribe on YouTube, you will not always get all the notifications. And I think that's absolute fucking bullshit. Um, and plus at the same time, I did, I did the Onyx the Game Machine series and my other segments so I could not only do the gaming reviews I like to do, but at the same time I thought of it as a way of sharing my creativity and my different editing formulas with the people like you that would watch. Um, but YouTube was not sharing around my content like it used to. Because when I started the Onyx the Game Machine series, I was popping with those views, man. Um, yeah, and I don't think that YouTube really cares about the smaller channels anymore. Uh... Because I'm going to tell you this, okay? I'm going to tell you this. I'm not saying that the big YouTubers don't work hard. But at the same time, you know, when it has to come down to the big YouTubers doing a shout-out competition or something, I think that's total fucking bullshit as well. Because that kind of um, puts to the side all the hard work that that young, small creator did. They had to rely on a damn shout-out to be able to get through. Now, keep in mind, you know, some people may get strategic with their thinking and they would think that I'm dissing Jacksepticeye. You know, like, for example, Jacksepticeye, he wasn't really getting a lot of views or anything until he won a shout-out contest with PewDiePie and he blew up really good. But I don't think that had to do with Poods completely. I think he was just, he was getting better with his content. Now, me, I'm a Jacksepticeye fan. I'm a Jacksepticeye fan, and I'm a Cinnamon Toast Ken fan, all right? Those are the two top YouTubers that I love. I watch all their content, and they never change. They never get old to me. It's all amazing. But I'll tell you one content creator that has changed, a top creator. And I used to be a fan of his, but now it's lowered down really bad, and that's Markiplier. I feel like Markiplier is not the mark that we uh, grew up with. And um, I can understand changing to, you know, um, update things with the channel and things of that nature. I, I'm, I'm always down for change. But there is such thing as changing too much. And I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of people that change too much because, like I said, change is good. But too much change can be bad. Alright. And some people really do just lose track of what made them who they were. And on, you know, the social platform that they were on. Some people will probably not agree with me at all and probably will think I'm full of shit. But there are some people, and I will not mention any names unless they want to mention themselves right now, that do agree with what I say. That's why, to be honest with you, you know, I'll admit sometimes once in a blue moon, I'll watch a PewDiePie video 
but it's not the same. I do kind of like his rant videos, though. When Poods does a rant video, I'll watch it. And sometimes it is rather funny. Like when he was talking about the whole, uh, whoa, Vicky, little Tate there, okay? But that's just one of my rare moments where I actually like a PewDiePie video. Am I a fan of Poods? No. Um, I think Poods is also full of shit. Um, but if it's anything of Jacksepticeye or Cinnamon Toast Can, I'm a fan. Because they bring out that good quality content. See, they both equal out in terms of the comedic value and the gameplay. Jacksepticeye is absolutely amazing with a lot of his gameplays that he does. He is the true boss. Okay, he is the true boss. Alright. Cinnamon Toast Skin. There's a lot of games he's great at playing. But he's gone more toward the comedic side. And I don't mind that one bit. I don't mind that one bit. I love it. I love all his content. Not just the gaming stuff. I like all his content. You know? And plus, he's expecting a second baby. Ken's been getting busy, man. Um, but I did want to get back to what um, Red, Beneath, uh, Red Beneath You was talking about. I was talking about subscriptions earlier. Yeah, um, when I get to affiliate... I got a feeling that my close friend James, which I went to I uh, cook out with him today, I kind of got a sneaking suspicion that he's going to become my first subscriber. Because um, I, he has known me since middle school. Um, he's that one friend I have um, known the longest. Second being Ninja Dragon 22 and then of course third being like uh, Mr. Rumble Roses. And stuff, you know, those my dudes. I love my dudes right there. That, that's my crew right there. Rump, me and Rumble Roses are like veterans, motherfucker. We'll tell you some good war stories, I'm gonna tell you that. And I'm not just talking about FPS. We could tell you about how YouTube used to be back in the day. And I'm gonna tell you, YouTube back in the day was far much better than what we got now. Like, I'll say this, Rumble, do you remember the star rating system before they did likes and dislikes? You remember that shit, man? Oh my god, dude. I miss the star rating system. I miss it a lot. I felt like the star rating system was far much better than the like and dislike. Because, for one, it's like this. With the star rating system... You know, you ha you rated the video, you know, either one, two, three, four, or five stars. And, um, you know, it didn't bother me if I had some videos back on my old, old channel that got, you know, between three to five stars or two to one stars, you know. That didn't, that didn't bother me. But what did bother me was when they did the like and dislike system. Because I'll say this, like and dislike systems can totally put you in a full fucking depression. I had, a, I had an old friend uh, tell me that he despised the like and dislike system. Because it put him through a really bad depression. That he did so much editing for a video that he got more dislikes than likes. He, he said that it, he was much better off with just the star rating system. Where it's like, okay, you know, I got three stars, I got four stars, you know, that that's perfectly fine, you know, but, uh, I'll tell you this, though, man, me and Rumble could tell you some pretty interesting war stories when it came to, um, YouTube, I'll tell you what, oh, my lord, Because uh, there, there has been a few people that have stuck by me um, since around my beginning of YouTube. One of the people, sadly, is not my friend anymore. And I'm not going to mention in his name in, at all because I'm not here to start drama. Um, but a couple people that have been with me since close to the beginning of my start on YouTube. Or at least when I started to blow up on YouTube until they changed it and shit. Was Mr. Rumble Roses and Killer Rodan. Those two motherfuckers have been around since 
I started actually getting my name out there. Even when people would like, you know, claim that I stole videos and shit, and yet they knew for a fact that it was my own fucking content. I remember one situation that happened where um, I did content for a video, and uh, <clears throat> my video got flagged, and I had to remove it. But then, like, the day after I had to remove it, they posted my same video on their channel. So, I couldn't even do a copyright claim on it or anything back then. Because it wouldn't have mattered. They, like, put so many, like, uh, claims on the video back then. I had to remove it. It was a gaming video. And, um, it pissed me off so bad. But what's worse about it was that, um, it had commentary. The video had commentary. And, uh... They took my video, found a way to get rid of my commentary in the video, and they put their own and put it there. And I knew that it was my video because they found some type of way to get rid of my logo too, man. I used to put a logo in the bottom uh, right corner of the video. They found a way to get rid of the logo. They found a way to get rid of my commentary. And, you know, they put their own, you know... To get rid of the little sound blotch spots in the recording. And it was bullshit. That's one of the reasons why I don't do much pre-recorded video stuff now. Is because of bullshit like that. Some people will get so jealous that they'll do shit like that. And that's so much bull. So much bull. But uh... Yeah. What was that video, Rumble? I used to know what it was. But which video was it? I, I Wasn't it... Was it a Duke Nukem video? Or Blood or something? I can't remember. But, uh, there was one time that I had a really, really good channel, and it was, um, this channel was close to 8,000 subscribers. And, uh, yeah, it was a Duke Nukem video. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I remember that. But I remember an old channel that I had where, um, I was close to, um, 8,000 subscribers back in the day. And, um, I did a request for Mr. Rumble Roses. Um, he wanted me to do a, vid a gameplay of Duke Nukem on the channel. And I did that. And, um, this guy claimed that it was his video. And, um, I ended up having my channel removed because of the bullshit. And, uh... I missed that channel so much, though. Um, it was called Onyx Spade the Gaming Machine. And um, that's a little fun fact for you. That's the reason why I call my followers my fellow Spadian family members. Because ever since I blew up on YouTube with that old channel, um, they were my Spadians. Still are. And, uh... That was pretty awesome. Alright, there's nobody else here for gun deer. So we'll go to another place now. But I'll tell you, man, I really miss that channel. I miss it so much. I miss all the content I had on it. I had a lot of my old school no damage runs on that channel, too. I had so much on that damn channel, man. I miss it so much. I miss it so much. <sighs> Damn. I'm yawning like a motherfucker right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, I could do the profane capital. I'd have to see if I have a storm move on. Yeah, I know, because you missed a... You, uh, you lost a channel as well. 
Yeah, it just goes to show that YouTube doesn't always look into every freaking copyright claim that they do. It's kind of bullshit if you think about it. Alright, I do have my farm ruler. Okay. Alright, let's see if anybody needs help with, uh, Yom. Let's see if anybody needs any help with Yom. But, uh, yeah. It was pretty bad. All the hard work I did on that channel. I did nothing but no damage runs, no death runs, and it was all old school games. That's why one day, when I get myself a better, um, um, if, um, if I one day get a better computer, I want to stream off of my computer and, um, do some old school gaming plays, just so I can show people where it's all started with me. Uh, I had videos that I couldn't do anymore now. Yeah, I know, man. I know. But you know, I give you I give you a I give you a bro knuckle, man. You know, I give you the bro knuckle. There you go. Bro knuckle the screen rumble. Bro knuckle the screen, man. You know, I completely feel you. I completely feel you, dude. I remember when I actually wanted to quit YouTube because of it. And, uh, Rumble was actually one of the people that, uh, told me not to do it because he felt that the world needed Onyx the game machine. And, uh, I've made a new channel. And I stayed on it. I stayed on the new channel. And, uh,. And that's when, uh, excuse me, uh, streaming became a thing on YouTube um, around then. And I did both uploads and streams. And everything was going okay until they did the, the ad apocalypse. And the ad apocalypse completely mutilated a lot of my channel. Because when I started the Onyx the Game Machine series... You could ask Rumble. You could even go check yourself right now, man. I was racking up on views and likes and all that, man. Especially my first episode of Onyx the Game Machine. It was on Shadows of the Empire. And I'm not sure how many likes it has right now. I think it has close to 200 plus likes. I think 6 dislikes. Um, I think it was like 4K views. My second most viewed video was my Super Mario Brothers 3 uh, for the Famicom, that review, that was a great review, by the way. I love that one. Um, I love all my episodes in a different kind of way, you know. But then the ad apocalypse happened around the middle of um, the series, and I just started losing viewers because people were not getting my uh, my notifications. And uh, then that's when they brought out the bell. You had to click the bell. But even then, people were still not coming. And uh, also, due to the adpocalypse, I was getting close to 1,000 subscribers. And I was, and because of the adpocalypse, I lost half of those subscribers. Well, close to half. Um, I got um, down to 900 subscribers. And then, for some odd reason, they started kept, they kept changing the analytics, and I just started losing subscribers. I was giving everybody what they wanted. Anytime that you wanted a request on my YouTube channel, I gave that request. You know, if somebody wanted no damage of an NES game, I practiced that game for a few days, and I gave them what they wanted. If they wanted no commentary, I gave them no commentary. If they wanted commentary, I gave them commentary. I gave the people what they wanted. You know, I always used to tell people that if you wanted me, if you wanted to request something of me that was old school game related, put it in the um, the comments down below, and or message me on Twitter because I had an old Twitter back in the day, and I used to get so many requests, man, and I popped those out like hotcakes, man. Because I love my old school games. Especially if it was NES. I popped that shit out fast, dude. But 
then just people just kept disappearing. Some people claimed they didn't get my uploads anymore. And then the slow decline of the Onyx of the Game Machine series happened. And I had a close friend at the time. And I wanted to quit the Onyx the Game Machine, the Onyx the Game Machine series bad. I wanted to quit being a game reviewer for Onyx the Game Machine. And uh, he was like, no, no, we need to keep going. You know, you never know. One day, you know, it'll, the channel will blow up again. You know, the channel will blow up again. You'll get you'll 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 get the recognition that you deserve. And I was like, I'll do it if you help me. And he's like, I I will. You know, I'll I'll help edit some stuff in for you. And I'm like, okay, I appreciate that. So that's when the Onyx the Game Machine series was going on for an additional five months. And um, then recently, me and him had a falling out and uh, we stopped being friends and then I was trying to edit f by myself for one of the Onyx Game Machine episodes and it came to the point where it just wasn't fun anymore I wasn't motivated to do them anymore I didn't feel like who I was anymore and because um, one of the main reasons why I did game reviews and some comedic style videos was because I wanted to give back to you people watching. I wanted to give back to the people, you know, for taking time out of their day to come check me out, you know. But when people didn't come at all, or even less people came, period, it hurt so bad. It hurt so fucking bad, dude. You. My God, man. I cried some days. Because, you know, there would be some content that I would edit for almost a couple weeks straight. Or a whole month straight. Or two months straight. And it just... It put me in a really bad depression. And then that's where, a few days ago, I had to make a decision. I was like... How, how, where do I see my future now? Where do I see my future? Do I see my future still doing uploads and streams when I can? Or do I see myself increasing in my streaming but doing less uploads? And that's where I was thinking about it. I was like, I'm getting close to affiliate status. This is where I need to grasp onto my future. So I thought to myself, I'm going to have to do the one thing I don't want to do in order to accomplish the one thing I do want to do. Which is the one main thing I've always wanted to accomplish. And it wasn't to get big on Twitch. It wasn't to become partnered by Twitch or be paid by Twitch. It was never that to begin with. I wanted to give back to people. There was people... And still people to this day. They come and check me out. They take time out of their busy schedules. To come and talk to me. To come and chat with me. And I want to be able to give more back to them. And that was one of the main reasons why I didn't stream as much. Because I was always editing. I was always editing. But now that I'm getting close to affiliate status... I get to do the gaming I want to do, you know, and uh, I can talk to people in the chats, I can say hello to them, I can ask them how their day is, because everybody's day is special, everybody in the chat is special, everybody in the world that takes time out of their day to come check me out, you are special, you are loved on the channel. My channel is the type of place where it's different than other streamers. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what color your skin is, you know, what your religious background is, what your political background is. You are a human being. And as long as you come in here, you know, being nice to everybody, 
you will be loved on the channel. Because of negativity, why I had so many stress attacks in the past, why I suffered a lot in the past, to where I have health problems that I'll never be able to get rid of. And one of my main purposes to start YouTube was to make people happy. It wasn't just to do the game reviews. It wasn't just to be a serious reviewer. It wasn't about being comedic about it. I wanted to give back to the people. And uh, YouTube, it wasn't working out. It wasn't working out on YouTube. It was at first, but not anymore. But now with Twitch, you know, I still wonder to myself how I got to 200 followers. I still wonder to myself what it was that I did that appealed to people. Aside from the fact that, you know, I'm, I really like to play Dark Souls. Um, and other types of content. That's the, stuff, that's the stuff I like to do. But I guess one of the other reasons why people followed was because I gave them a home. My channel is their home too. I can let people come into the channel... And know that there is somebody on this webcam. May not be the most good looking guy. You know. May not be the most fit looking guy. But in the end. Everyone that comes to this channel. As long as they're nice to me. And as long as they're nice to all the people in the chat. You will always be loved here. You will always be special. You will always be unique. And we will always care about how your day is. And if you ever need advice on something, if I can't give advice, there'll be somebody in the chat that'll help you feel better. That's the type of community that I want. That's the type of dream I have. While some people do stuff for charity, that's cool and everything. That's perfectly fine. I'm not against doing. Uh, I'm not against people that do charity live streams or anything of that nature. But. This is also my solid opinion as well. You can agree with it if you want. You can disagree with it as, as well. I respect everybody's opinion. I would hope that you would respect mine. But charity live streams don't always prove everything. I've known people, I'm not going to reveal any names, but I have known people to do charity live streams just so people can think that they care about the people. And... I'm, like I said, I'm not against charity live streams. I'm not, I'm not against it at all. You know, one of my favorite charities is St. Jude. Because, you know, it, it helps the children. And I am completely against cancer. Um, I had a girlfriend once. Um, her name was Charlene. I don't talk about her that much. But she was a woman that I truly loved. And she died of cancer. And, uh. She was the most beautiful woman ever. I'll tell you, man. She was the most beautiful woman ever. I don't talk about her that much because it's very painful to talk about. But I feel like I can trust the people that are taking time out of their day to come see me. I can trust you guys with this. But I had a woman by the name of Charlene. Uh, sometimes I called her Charlie. And... Uh, she was the most beautiful woman you would ever meet. She was the nicest woman ever. She was a very faithful woman. You know, she had so many plans in the future. You know, she wanted to be a singer. She wanted to do... She wanted to go to different places. I even wanted to go to places with her. You know, we wanted to explore the world. And everything. And then one day, she was diagnosed with cancer. And down the road, she lost her beautiful hair. She had this beautiful blonde hair, smart woman, could, cared about animals, cared about everybody. She lost her blonde hair, and she got into a big depression. And, uh, hey, thanks, Brad. By the way, welcome to the stream, man. And, uh, I, uh, went to go see her one day, and she was, she literally had locked herself in her room for like a whole week. Uh, she wasn't answering any of my text messages, and I went to go see her, and um, she was claiming that she was ugly. She, her skin was turning pale, you know, she lost all of her blonde hair, 
and she told me that I wasn't worth her time. And, uh, no, that she wasn't worth my time. My bad, my bad. And, uh, I told her, hey, I brought you a nice hat. Why don't we go shopping? I'll buy you anything you want. And she cried, and she's like, anything that I want? And I'm like, yeah, you name it. I got the money. You tell me what you want. And she told me about this place that does wigs. And she's like, I want to look pretty for you. And I'm like, okay. If that's what you desire, we can do that. Just realize, you don't need to wear a wig to be pretty to me. As long as you smile and you show your beautiful eyes, that's what matters to me. But I granted her her wish and she got this nice blonde wig that looked almost identical to her hair and she was like I also want to buy a dress and I'm like okay where would you like to go she told me the store she wanted to go to and um, she was like I want to buy a nice black dress so I can look nice for you I'm like okay that's perfectly fine and um, I bought her a nice black dress with sequins on it it was beautiful um, and, uh, we took pictures when we were out as well. We, uh, there used to be these little photo booths that you could go into and you could take little pictures and stuff when, if you put in enough money and we took pictures and, uh, you know, we kissed and stuff. I took her out to eat at our favorite restaurant and, uh, we had a nice dinner and, uh, then a couple weeks passed by, and um, I got to see her every day. Even after work, I took time out of my day to go see her. And I got a call from her dad, and she told me that she didn't wake up this morning, and she died. And I told my boss, and uh, he gave me the rest of the week off. And uh, I asked her dad, you know, hey, are you going to be okay? Do you need me to come by? And he's like, you know, don't worry about me. Then next day I found out he committed suicide. And uh, when people tell me out of spite that I don't care about anybody, I do. I care about even my own enemies. I really do. And... Uh, That's where I thought about it, you know, about doing charity live streams. And like I said, I'm not against charity live streams. I'm not against it at all. But I know some people that will do charity live streams just so they can um, give off the impression that they care about people. And um, I'm not going to mention any names. There are some people out there that will do that just to be petty. And um, like I said, I might do a charity live stream right day, one day. I might do one. But it would go straight to St. Jude. Just because, you know, it's it's worse when uh, an adult has it, has cancer. But it's even worse if when it's a kid, when it's a child. A child that can't help it, you know. Because I've lost somebody that I love to cancer. And, uh, it hurts. It hurts very bad, guys. And, uh... I never forgot her. I'll never forget her. She lightened my life a lot. She had the... most amazing smile. Amazing hair. Amazing eyes. But it was a caring voice. It was a voice that could lighten anyone's day. And, um, uh, she had one of those voices that was like a UK voice, you know. It was, an, it was a UK accent, because she originally lived in the UK. And, um, I miss her every day. I'll always miss her, because, uh, she made me feel special. She made me feel unique. 
she let me know that it didn't matter what I did in life, if I was an evil person, if I was a good person, if I gave to charities, if I didn't give to charities, it didn't matter. I was still a good person. I was still a person that should help others. Not just with charity, but even help out people that want to find a place where they can be themselves. Because there's some streamers out there, man, and I kid you not, there's some streamers out there, all they care about is the views, all they care about is the money, all they care about is, you know, just the viewerships, you know. But me, I care about making somebody's day better. Because I know what it's like to, you know, come into a stream sometimes of a random person and all they'll talk about is you know just petty stuff and I'm not saying that complaining about certain things is bad it's good to vent about it but no matter how many viewers you have it's always good to come in, come in with the mindset that you could make somebody's day better like hell, one day I could get somebody in here that would tell me that they want to commit suicide. And I'd want to stop them. Which I actually have stopped somebody from committing suicide before. And uh, I'm not going to mention his name because I believe in confidentiality. But he has been a great friend since I stopped him. I don't know. I mean, I could turn this into a stereotypical PSA about, you know, oh, there's suicide hotlines out there. You know, there's people out there that will listen to you. And I'm not saying that they're wrong. But I've been suicidal before in the past. I've had stuff happen to me you wouldn't even believe, guys. And, uh... Suicide hotlines, they don't always help. And some people will hesitate to call a suicide hotline, and I know why. Because it doesn't matter really if the person's there to listen to you. They still don't know you. And that's why I'm here. Is that, you know, tell me about yourself. Let me get to know you. You know, let me give you a place where you would feel comfortable, where you could be yourself. I mean, of course, if there's like certain topics that the chat don't like this, um, the person talking about, you know, yeah, you know, just be careful with your words, at least, you know, on the one hand, I'll give you a comfortable place to be and I'll give you a place that, you know, you can feel comfortable, but also keep in mind that. I also care about the other people that take times out of their days to come see me, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that is one of the most embarrassing things ever. It's one of the most embarrassing things ever. And that's why I want to be a person where if you feel bad about yourself and you want to feel special, and you want to feel unique, this is the place you can come to. True, I may be good at a lot of games, but in the end, I also care about people. You know. And I'll even admit, I'm a hard person to work with, okay? I'm a very hard person to work with. I'm a perfectionist. I will admit that it's very hard to work with me on projects that I want to do. But in the end... I will still bug the living shit out of you and ask you how you're doing, you know. And, uh, I care about children, too. It was at one point in my life where I could have been a kind of father. And I still want to be a father, no matter it's if it's uh, my own blood, son or daughter, or adoption, 
or meeting someone that already has a kid and being in their life to make them feel good about themselves. You know. Like at the moment, I'm not really talking to anybody right now. You know. I'm still trying to get my life straight at the moment. Um, I'm still trying to think of where I want my future to go. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what type of path I want to do yet. But I'll tell you this. Is, um, one of the main reasons why I'm not in a relationship right now is just because there's always just so much drama. Why can't I get a faithful woman? You know, why can't I get a woman that only wants me? You know, and I don't mind a clingy woman. I don't mind a clingy woman at all, but I also, at the same time, like to have my own space, too. You know, there's times where I want attention, but then there's some times where I got to be honest. You know, I want to care about other people. I want to help people. Even if it's my words that help them. I want to do that. You know? We're going to go to another place now because it seems that there is nothing going on here. Okay, that doesn't make any fucking sense. So there is people here. Okay, we'll, we'll stay a little bit longer. But I just saw that there's actually people around here. That's so, so weird. Um... But, uh, also one of the other reasons why I want to care about people on my channel is because I didn't have that growing up. I didn't really have a good mother. I had a mother that, uh, degraded my life so she would feel better about herself. You know, now I'm not talking about my former foster mom. I love that woman. You know, she brought me out of the darkness that my real mother tried to put me in. And, um... I need to go and talk to her sometime. I need to go see how she's doing. But my real mother was a very, very bad person. Um, she degraded me so she could feel better about herself. A lot of my past was fucked up because of her. And what made matters worse was when I met my real father. That fucking dirtbag. Um, he was an abusive dirtbag that um, called me the uh, the mistake son. The so-called exist. And um, I mean, a lot of people probably started off as mistakes, you know. Probably were the result of a one-night stand or something like that. And I'm one of those kids. I'm the result of a one night stand that was not supposed to happen. But hey, you know. I'm here. And I care about all of you. Like I said, as long as you come into the channel. Um, as a nice person. Um, as a person that's looking. You know, for care and stuff like that I'll be here I may not know you personally but that's one of the reasons why I usually tell a lot of people hey tell me about yourself man tell me what stuff you like to do you know it's not just me being nosy about your personal business I want to get to know the people that take time out of their day to follow my channel you know that's just how I am because on the one hand, you meet me in public, I'm not much of a social person. Like, I'll say that. I'm a very shy guy. I don't like to be in big groups of people, you know. But then again, on the other hand, I would not mind a Comic-Con. Um, hell, I'd dress up like Solaire of Astora, sit in the middle of the floor, and see if somebody would touch my shoulder or something. And that would make me, like, you know, get up from the ground and... That would be considered a summon. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm so worried I'd be willing to do that. But I may be shy in public. But at the same time, you know, that doesn't mean I don't care about people. I've been approached to um, 
in public, I had someone be like, you know, hey, aren't you Onyx the gaming machine? Like, I actually had somebody come up to me and be like that, and I was like, yeah, who might you be? And um, he told me about he told me about him, and I was I I kid you not, I was like, hey, you know, there's a Burger King right over here. Would you like me to get your milkshake, man? We can talk more about it. And he's like, sure, sure. And uh, he was about to pull out his wallet. I'm like, hey, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it, man. I'll take care of it. It's not a problem. And um, we talked for hours at that Burger King. Cool guy, by the way. Um, I haven't really seen him that much since, but it was a really nice conversation. And um, he was asking me some life questions. Even some that um, I had never experienced in my life. And uh, I gave him my advice about it. But uh, it was a cool guy. It let me know that, you know, maybe even in public, someone may recognize me for my successes on Twitch. But my successes isn't about me always being good at games. I know I'm, I know I'm good at certain games. You know, I've had people tell me that I am the legend of Dark Souls. Even though there's people out there like Lobos Jr. and lots of other people that do speed runs and glitch runs of Dark Souls. You know, and I'll, I'll admit, I die a lot in Dark Souls. Okay, I die a whole bunch in Dark Souls. But that doesn't mean I'm not experienced in Dark Souls. Dark Souls is one of my games. The whole Dark Souls franchise is like... A, my games. Even when I can't stand Dark Souls 2. I beat it. You know? But, uh... It doesn't matter if somebody calls you a legend. I've even been called a gaming god before. And I was very flattered about that one. Um... But I'm not here to boast about me being good at games. I can already show that with my actions. But what people need to realize about me is that, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you that I'm good at games. I'll give you the entertainment. There may be times when I'm silent when playing, but that just means that I'm trying to progress in the game for people that want to come for the gameplay. And there are people that come for the gameplay. I'm I'm the type of person where I would sometimes just come to the stream for the gameplay. And for the reasons why you would follow my channel, I respect them. You know? However, at the same time, it's not fully about the gameplay or the comedic value that matters to me. Because some people... <sighs> Excuse me. They'll um, they'll stream just to just to scarf down that comedic value down your throat, you know, just to be funny. And that that's perfectly fine. If you if that's the way you stream, go right on ahead. I'll admit that I do stream sometimes for comedic value. Sometimes I stream to show how good I am in a game, so people so I don't get that many backseaters. Because I have a lot of people tell me, you know, that uh. I need to do this and I need to do that. And people like that can go find another stream to go to. I don't need to be told how to play a game. Um, one of my rules, um, when you come into my channel, you'll see like a little a little uh, text box that will appear right before you're about to say something. One of them is, don't backseat. Don't tell me how to play a game. I, can, I will ask if I need help. And I have before. I've asked if I needed help. You know, if you just come here just to backseat, you can find another channel to go to. If you've come here to spoil a game for me that I've never played, you can go take that someplace else. You can you can take that bullshit someplace else, man. Because that's considered negativity right there. You know? But my reason for streaming is not just to show that I'm good at playing a game. I want to show people that I care. I want people to know that my channel is a place you can come to where you will be loved, you will be appreciated, you will be cared for 
not just by me, but even by my mods and the people that come here to come see me out of their hard working days. People that take time out of their day to come and see me, to come say hello to me. That is why I do what I do. I want to change people's lives. I want to show people that there are channels out there where we care about you. I know I probably sound really fucking stupid right now, you know, and I'm sorry if that's how if that's the impression that I get off, you know, but I really do care about every one of you. Every single person that has followed this channel, I care about you and I love you all. Even you, Brad. Even you. And even you, Rumble. <laughs> Especially my boy, Rumble. You can't hate Rumble. <laughs> that spunky Duke new complain bastard. <laughs> yeah, that's my dude, though. But, um... Okay, I think we will go to... Bring dinner wall. We'll do that. We'll go back there. Um... I like people just to know that they can come here and they will be respected. They will be loved. They can be comfortable here. And I'll admit that if there's a topic that one of my followers talks about in the chat that makes people uncomfortable, I'll tell the person, you know, hey, you know, let's talk about something else. You know, we can talk about that off stream if you like, but I want this to be an environment where everybody feels comfortable. You know, we can talk about that later. You know what I'm saying? Because as I do care about all the stuff people want to talk about, I also have to keep in mind that there might be someone in my chat that doesn't like it. Like, there was one time I had somebody in my chat that was talking about politics. And I'm not a fan of politics. But I let him say what he had to say a little bit. I, I heard him out. But then there was somebody in my chat as well that was like, you know, hey, you know, I'm not a fan of politics. Can we please not talk about this? And um, I was I was like, yes, uh, such and such. You know, um, maybe we can talk about that topic later. You know, can we talk about something a little bit more healthy, please? You know, that that's how I was. And he understood. And we talked about other stuff, you know. It just goes to show that, yeah, you can be yourself. You can be yourself. You can share whatever you like. But also keep in mind that I have a community that I have to run as well. If somebody in the community feels offended in some kind of way or uncomfortable, I will put that into consideration when I'm trying to calm down the, you know, the area. Either that or I'll have a mod be like, you know, they'll say it nicely. Don't force it down their throat, but I will, I will tell them to say it nicely. You know, hey, you know, we're not here to talk about politics or religion because it doesn't matter. Po I know that there's a lot of negativity happening in the world. But this is a channel you can go to where you don't have to talk about that. You don't have to talk about politics. You don't have to talk about, you know, religion because it doesn't matter. We don't even need to talk about race because race doesn't matter. We all are brothers and sisters in the Spadian family. You know? That's who we are. Hello. Hello, Riley. How are you? Oh, we're gonna fight a boss. Who we fighting? We fighting Madeir. Cause I got my Madeir killer. Are we are we fighting Madeir? Yep, we're fighting Madeir. Alright. Okay. So that happened. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> okay, so that happened right there, guys. That was interesting. I think she literally may have fell out of the map. Cuz I didn't see how she would have fell off the uh elevator. That is very peculiar. Wow. I think she may have fell out the map. I think that's what happened. Oh. It's an onion, bro. Insert Tim Allen grunt here. Uh. Uh. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that'd be some good Tim Allen. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, my leg hurts. My leg is hurting so bad today. Ooh. Ow, 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 bitch. Okay. There we go. Ah, that's much better. All right, being subbed to another world. I think it's the same chick. But I think she wants to fight Madeir, so um, I got to prepare myself for this. That's still really funny, though. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right, this time I'm gonna let them do their thing. We'll go back up. Maybe. There we go. Time to switch my sword out. I have my foom. Which will not require me to use my shield. Because using a shield does not matter against Madeir. I should know. I've soloed Madeir. I'm 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 ready to help though. Yes, sir. Booty boop boop. Dooty doop doop. Madeir, you damn dragon. Come at me, Madeir. Oh, that's Joker. Uh, yeah. Kind of. Oh, they're using pestilence. Nice. I need to move, need to move, need to move, need to move. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, God. Watch out, Joker. Oh shit. Y'all really nice camera. Really nice. We'll do that. Some of that head, boy. Okay, I got one hit off. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Come on, big boy. Let's go. Tail whip, though. 
I think the reason why I wasn't doing so good is her uh, her stats really really put me down. Oh man, that was brutal. I hate when it's always the tail whip. The tail whip and the aerial fire. That's usually the ones that get me now. That's okay. It was working out really well. Four. Yeah, I know, right? It's fucking insane. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, my Foom Sword is like my uh, my new Madeira Killer. It's fun. Yeah. I might try my ring paired great swords, but do it in um as a single sword. I do want to try out a few things though. Okay, that's the run on. Okay. I might use the ring pair of swords as well as a experiment for my deer. I might. I need to test that out though. I gotta test that out though, my friends. I'm sorry if I rambled though a lot about my uh my visions and stuff. You know, about uh people and everything. Sometimes I can talk a lot. Sometimes I get a little bit too uh um what's the word? Emotional, I guess you could say about my visions on what I wanna see with my channel and everything. So, yeah. Summon to another world. If it's the same chick, I can also test this, uh, test out the great swords in single way as well. On uh, Madeira's head. Yep. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Hey. You did good. You did real good. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's do it. I'll be back. Oh, shit. Ah, dude, why'd you do that, man? Oh, my God. How did that happen? Go ahead and clip it, Rumble. I know you want to. Whoops. <clears throat> I don't know how that shit happened. Oh my god, dude. That was one long fucking fall right there. 
Oh my lord. Oh my lord, man. That was really stupid. <laughs> that was really, really stupid. That was still one hell of a fall, though. I knew it. I know. I know. I, I know. I just had a feeling you was going to anyways, though. Even if I didn't say that. So that was one hell of a fall. I don't even know how that happened. That's never happened to me with a ladder before. <sighs> Let me see some real quick. Yeah, okay. I was checking the time real quick. Also, probably tomorrow I'll I'll introduce another um Dark Souls 3 Path of series as well. I like the different Path of series that I'm making. I mean, I started it off with Solaire. And then I open it up with uh, Vanandi. Might do one of Era next. I don't even know how that even happened. I don't even know. Like I climbed down there and I did the original, which was a you know press circle down on the uh, on the controller. But apparently it didn't register for some reason, and I literally clipped through the damn ladder, and I fell. I've actually never had that happen before. Which that right there is absolutely hilarious. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. Also, Rumble, I hope you enjoyed that um, Twitter post I did that I tagged you in, though. Because uh, one of the things I mentioned is something that has to do with something you like. So, 
hoping that you enjoy it because that will happen sometime after I get um, I hit affiliate I will be doing that and I'll need mr. rumble roses as my guide because as I was when I did Dark Souls remastered and I had to be rem reminded how to get through blight town still to this day now if you remember from when I was at um, doing the Dark Souls remaster with Bink, I know my way around Blight Town as long as I can get to the ground floor. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Ow. God, my leg. Seems to be calming down a little bit now. Yeah, I know. Just when I hit affiliate status, I will be taking a few days off. But um, knowing things, I'll probably introduce the new game first before I do Duke Nukem uh, episode five. But uh, don't worry, I will. I will remind you at least a day ahead of time. Before I do it, because also when I hit the affiliate status, I'll be going by my new schedule that I have up on Twitter. So, yeah. Maybe you can make a thumbnail for me, Rumble. I'd like if you did that. Either that or maybe um, Nukem Dave or somebody <gasps> won't mind doing a little thumbnail for it. Being summoned to another world. All right. Oh. Spear of the Church now. Okay. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, get ready for this, my boils. Let's see how this is going to go. Oh, my God. I get to do a Spear of the Church. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's hope it's not a gang squad. y'all doing there hello my boils oh that's Ringo oh no I'm screwed oh I am screwed I know who that is I know Ringo come here rabbit oh my god there's lag y'all see this lag man Come here, you little fuckers. I'm sorry, Ringo. I'm sorry. I know who you are. I'm probably screwed because of it. I'm probably... Oh, my God! Ringo! I'm so sorry, compadre! Oh, you got it! Oh, my God, that was so... Oh, I got it, Rumble! Yes, my boy -o. Oh, my boy, oh, dude, yeah. Still got my winning streak, boy, oh. 
Still got my winning streak, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Do you see that shit, man? Oh, I still got my winning streak. Now, I really don't count the one loss I had because I got ganked by a couple of hackers on the PlayStation 4. I don't count that loss. So now I ha now so now okay so now Rumble you get to put this in the chat so that means now my winning streak not yeah I guess we could count the loss maybe even though it was a group of fucking hackers but if that's the case it's gonna be uh, was it twenty five wins one loss that's really good that's really really good. Wow, I'm glad I was able to do that. Because um, the Nandi's also a spear of the church as well. May as well go put this at the altar. Maybe the uh, ring knight won't bother me. I highly, I think you might, though. I think it might aggro him. Yep, 25 to 1. You little shit! Really, man? Oh my god, dude. I just wanted to give it the fucking altar. God damn it, ah! Yeah. Yeah, 25 to 1. The one loss I had was against a, a three-man gank squad that were hackers. What made them hackers? They were flying around the room sp um, spamming lava. I literally died on my way down. It was, it was, it was bullshit. I didn't get a chance to record it, though. But, uh, also, if people want to see a lot of my wins, uh, it's not all of them, but if people want to see a lot of my wins on, um, with Vanandi, Spear of the Church slash Warrior of Sunlight, you can check out that playlist on, um, on YouTube. I worked really hard on the, uh, thumbnail. All right, you. You're getting on my nerves now. You're really getting on my nerves. I can do that too, boy. Oh. Okay, now I need to move. No! Fuck you! God damn it! I just want to give my spear, man. I just want to give my ornamental spear to the freaking altar. Why do you do it? I'm a spear of the church, you fucking asshole. Fuck. I really hate this guy. No, he becomes more of a... And the funny part is I lost all those souls, but eh, it doesn't matter. The souls don't really matter to me with uh, Vanandi. He's going to be staying at this level. But uh, that is some bullshit. Because in regular game, he's not that strong. But when you get to new game plus six, new game plus seven, oh, he's a piece of shit. I just want to turn in my freaking ornament, you son of a bitch. You want to tango? Fine, we will tango. We will do this. Go ahead and do your little shit. Man. I can do that too. Move out of the way. Oh, you're not going to get me with that again. Come on. No! Don't you dare! Don't you freaking dare! Told you. Give me your four chunks. Now. I have two. Give me. Thank you. Have a blessed day. I hate it when that guy does that, though. 
But yep, 25 to 1. But yeah, there's actually like a small playlist of me doing um, stuff with Venandi as both uh, Spear of the Church and Warrior of Sunlight. It's actually pretty cool. like being able to use them. There we go. That's much better. But yeah, it's getting close to the two hour mark, so we'll be ending very soon. But in the end, still good. That is crazy though when it does when it pulls that bullshit. My back's itchy, my bad. I'm sorry guys. It happens. <laughs> but uh, one of the dudes that was there, I know him. I don't know him personally, but I know of his fighting style. Ringo is a guy that floats around the Ring City. And he is a Madeir killer. He kills Madeir with the Pestilence Mist. Um, he is also very, very good at fighting um, Gale as well. He's got to be one of the most experienced Dark Souls 3 players I've ever seen. Um, he helped me with um, what is it? He helped me get through some of my bosses in New Game Plus 5. And uh, whenever there is no other person with the name Ringo I'm just really surprised he was dressed like that. It would be hilarious if he actually recognized my name. Because I have seen Ringo a lot around here in the Ring City. He's a boss killer just like me. And, uh... I was just really surprised he wasn't dressed up in his grave, uh, in his, uh, jailer robes. Usually he's dressed in his jailer robes. I can't wait to see all those clips rumble. They're, they're going to be good. You've gotten really good at making the clips, man. You've almost rivaled me, man. And I'm good at making clips, too. But, uh... Mmm. Can't believe I, I got to do a Spear of the Church for you guys. I can't believe that. I'm going to have to take that off the stream as well and put that into the uh, folder with uh, Spear of the Church. I'm going to have to do that now. Which I don't mind editing that together. That that won't even take long. That won't even take long. I'm going to do that. But that's so cool though. I got to show uh, I got to show people how I do Spear of the Church. Cuz on the one hand, you could say what I, the avoiding that I was doing was a bit cowardly, but at the same time, that was 1 versus 3. That was one versus three. Uh, my healer was killed, though. I saw that they killed my healer. But basically, Spear of the Church is what I consider one of the best covenants in Dark Souls 3. You actually can be a boss in the game. Now, there is some people that do Spear of the Church where they'll act like invaders. They will troll you throughout the whole battle... You know, they'll um, get cheap shots on you and things like that. But then there's how I play. I mirror myself based on how the people do. That's why some... Oh, yeah, I had to dodge and weave. You know I had to dodge and weave that shit. Um, but in my case, I like to mirror the Host of Embers. And I noticed that the Host of Embers kept spamming that R1. So I was like, I can, I can do that too, man. Well... I do, I spam L1, actually. But a lot of people will spam the R1 and stuff like that, you know. R1 spammers for days. Even R2 spamming like that. But, I, I'll admit, I spam my weapon art, but I only spam my weapon art when I see that opening. You know, when I see that opening, I'm like, let's go, Boyle. Let's go. But that was, that, out of all the fights I've done in the Spear of the Church, that had to have been the only one where I've actually survived with just a tiny bit of health left. 
just a tiny bit of health. But um, I love I love Spirit of the Church. It's my favorite covenant in this game. My second favorite being Warrior of Sunlight. You know, it's absolutely fucking amazing. I love Spirit of the Church. I love the idea that Venandi could be a boss. I love it. I absolutely love it, man. I love it. Um, Cause hell, come. I mean, come on. If you're gonna play a game, you know, why not be a boss, right? Hello, Stony. Welcome to the stream, dear. How are you doing? Are you doing good today? Did you sleep well? You came in just in time, though, because I'll be ending my stream in a little while. I always like it when you're able to pop in for a little bit. By the way, how is Charlie? I hope he is doing well. I hope he's behaving himself, too. No, it was too high, and a two-year-old sleeps like a starfish. <laughs> so he was sprawled out on the whole bed like a damn starfish. That's how it was. That's funny, actually. <laughs> a starfish. I'm sorry you weren't able to sleep good, though, dear. Hopefully you'll have a good day, though. Because me, it's technically Sunday. So I don't really have any plans and stuff. I, I, I'm, I know you and me talked about doing some plans and stuff. I don't know if those plans are still in effect, but I have no plans aside from that, though. Looking like a cat taking up the whole bed. Hey, I take up my whole bed, but then again, I have a think. A, I think it's a. Uh, they have a king size bed. I like my king size bed, but I, I hate that you know it's a king size bed and only one person sleeps in it. You know. I need to have somebody to uh, sleep in the bed with me. You know. A nice female. Yeah. They go home today, so I will sleep tonight. Yay! Spunky UK woman gets to gets to sleep better. Yay! Mm, my nose was itchy right there. Well, let's go ahead and go back to the Firelink Shrine. And later on, I'll have a clip to put together of me doing the Spear of the Church. I'll probably title it the sliver of health. I'll probably call it that. You know. I prefer to be on my own. I sleep better. Ah. Two weeks their own. Two weeks their own. So I will show off the stats of Vanandi while I do my outro. So if you enjoy what you saw today on the Twitch channel, give the channel a follow. Your boy, sooner or later, will be reaching affiliate. I can feel it. I can smell it. You know. And plus, when I reach affiliate, I'll be taking a few days off. Um, but when I come back, though, I will not only be introducing a new game to the series, but just for Mr. Rumble Roses, I will be doing Episode 5 of Duke Nukem 3D World Tour. And that's going to be fun to do. Because I wanted to wait until... You know, I had, you know, the right moment to do it where he would be here and everything. And I'd love to experience that with him because Duke Nukem 3D World Tour, I uh, platinum that game. But I kept episode five just for me and Mr. Rumble Roses to do on here. So, you know, be on the lookout for that when that happens after affiliate status happens. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, 
you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, like the video, leave a nice positive comment down below because your boy tries to enforce that positive environment because the whole world is filled with negative assholes and we don't need to have them here. So, as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm your friendly neighborhood game machine, and this was Dark Souls 3, Path of Venandi of Kruar, the Ringed Hunter. And until I see everyone in the next video or live stream, peace out and happy gaming, my friends. Sleep well, everyone.